Screen 1.1 is the one appearing by default at the start top of those this plus. Use up and down arrow to move the selection over the screen. To modify a parameter, press OK to enable the modification. The parameter will blink. Use plus and minus to increase or decrease, then OK to confirm the modification. While pressing plus or minus, keep it pressed, then press up arrow. This allows to speed up the increase or decrease. In this screen, you can program the winding speed of the machine, adjust the unwanted length of the hose, and program the arrival time. On the last line, you can read the actual winding speed, the actual turbine speed, and pressure. Press cycle push button to start the winding cycle. In screen 1.2, you can select water application as the driving parameter. To program it, you need to enter the correct spacing and flow as indicated in flow charts delivered with the machine. In the screen, you can also adjust the unwooded length and program the arrival time. As you modify speed, application or arrival time, the indication of it as a driving parameter appears in the middle of the screen and on the first line. In screen 1.3, you can program various time-based parameters start delay, end delay and auxiliary gun working time. Auxiliary gun time can be programmed only if the function has been activated in 8.3. On press delay, you can program a time to retard the intervention of the pressure alarm. You have also the function to wind up the machine at max speed. In screen 1.4, irrigation end time can be programmed. This is a scheduled time at which the machine stops and operates an end of irrigation, no matter where the machine is in the cycle. When programmed, the irrigation end time appears on the top right corner of the screen. In screen 1.5, irrigation end at a specific length can be programmed. According to how it is defined in 8.3, at the program length the machine will operate an end of irrigation or will anticipate the arrival delay at this length. Screen 1.6 is a recap screen. All program parameters are shown together, nothing can be modified here. Screen 1.7 shows the totalizers. Partials can be reset to zero by pressing two times OK over them. Max and winding and turbine speed are shown. Screen RTC shows software version and machine model. Actual date and hour are shown and can be adjusted. While in cycle or while starting the cycle, if an error occurs, it appears on the screen. With the change page button, you exit the error list. If there are errors, an exclamation mark appears on the top line. To enter the jack screen, press up and down arrow together. Errors that are still active are shown here. On exit screen, select yes to go to the main menu. Section 2 contains screens for manual movements of the actuators. On screen 2.1, you can operate the turbine's bypass actuator. Press plus to close the bypass and increase turbine speed. Press minus to open the bypass and decrease turbine speed. On screen 2.2, you can operate the input valve. Press plus to close. Press minus to open. Section 3 contains the function to activate the movements on machines with hydrostatic system. Be sure to operate on the lever and select movements. Then on page 3.1 select enable and confirm. While movements are enabled, the screen can be changed. Section 4 contains the function to program irrigation zones. As you enter the section, the ZDIS asks if to delete the previously programmed zones. On screen 4.1, enable or disable the function. Screen 4.2 is for setting the first zone that starts from the total length of the hose. Select the length at which the zone ends. Select the parameter for winding, speed or water application. The parameter appearing depends on the last working parameter chosen in section 1.
subsequent zones will start with an initial length equal to the end of the previous one. When you reach 0 meters, following zones will be ignored. Section 7 is for GSM and connection configuration. On screen 7.1, flag GSM as active. Then select what kind of SMS the DOSIDIS should send. Error SMS are always sent. On screen 7.2, program phone numbers. SC should not be modified. Self-learning function allows to insert automatically the number in the list just by sending an SMS to the DOSIDIS. Numbers can be manually inserted using the buttons. Arrows to move between positions and plus and minus to modify the number. Always use country code before the number. To activate SMS sending, flag activation near the number.